little Silent Speaks More Kelly Adams. This is a little four-year-old gelding we call Shadow. Now, what we're going to do with this video is Shadow's been under saddle for a couple of months, right? Nice little horse, just pleasant. He's going to make just an awesome trail horse for somebody. He is for sale. But the point we're going to get to today is why we put spurs on and when. Now, you'll notice in most of our videos we don't put spurs on our horses unless they're ready to advance to that next level. Like, let's say going from to seventh grade from sixth grade. You've taught a child the basics, the principles, what you're asking, and they can do it. But in Shadow's case, he's got an issue going to the right. He wants to push out a little bit on the right side. Nothing wrong with that. It's just the next stage now to reinforce what we're asking. All right? So we'll start in the cross ties or even here. If I want this horse to move over, you look at where your stirrup is. No matter when you're handling this horse, I don't care if you're brushing them or doing anything. If I apply my thumb right here and I start to push, see, I want him to move over. Now see, you just, <laughs> it's just like it's, yeah, I'll do it, but you know, you better push harder. Since the day we started handling him when he was young, everything was hand is where your spur is going to be, where your leg is going to be in the stir. Okay, I'm just going to ride him around here a little. Kind of keep these segments short for you and we'll just put them together. Okay? So, I say with shadow, everything's fine. He'll He's just such a pleasant little horse that normally, you know, he's just going to be a little trail horse or somebody's little pet. Okay, folks, so he's jogging along here. I take my left leg, apply some pressure, a little bit of the rein on the neck. If I want him to turn, I take the right leg, ask him to turn, rein him over. Left leg, right leg, left leg. Okay, so these are the principles that I believe a horse should know before you ever put a spur. He's moving off the leg, to the turn cue. Right leg. Feet go forward for a stop. Woo. Okay. Okay, so make sure your horse can do everything you're about to do with the spur comfortably. Alright? So I'm saying is you don't take a sixth grader that's, not, that's having trouble with general math and throwing him into an algebra class and putting him under that kind of pressure you would gradually take him to a point where yes, he understands it. Yes, maybe he doesn't really want to do anything too fast, Shadow. But, you know, he's ready to pinpoint now what, what you're doing. All right? Thank you very much. So I know that Shadow is ready to go to the next level. That's basically how I judge him. So, I'm going to put the spurs on. Now, I tape my spurs. I don't use just a route, right? Now you can eat by, I call a blunt spur, a rounded end spur. I don't know, I already own a pair of spurs. And tape's kind of cheap, so to me it's just, that's how it is. And these are a winter boot, not a cowboy boot, as you'll see. You're gonna ride in these kind of a boot. Just make sure that your stirrup is big enough. No matter if you're riding a good horse or not. Yeah, buddy. So basically, I say Shadow is just like a puppy on a string. It's probably is why we have it.
check out my spur here. See, little guy, he don't miss nothing. He's just nice little horse. Right there. Okay, folks. So let's start this. Off. So never had been touched by a pair of spurs. Okay, although our fingers, our thumb the cross ties what we did on the ground earlier and all part and parcel of that right you don't ever in my opinion I don't ever just haul off and boot them unless they're really wanting to buck or something completely ridiculous like kick you into a wall or something okay but if you sit here the first time you want to touch the spur we'll just add some pressure Feel it, perfectly. Now the other side. There we go. Now notice I'm putting the spur on him and combing up. Another reason why I'm not big on spurs there. So you can see the difference in this little bit of a turn. Now this horse is never gonna be a rainer, never gonna be a cutter, not a show horse. He's going to be somebody's little friend forever. And he's going to ask him to go forward so both legs apply. And then once he goes, you take him off. Yeah, he's doing what you're asking. There. Now, the gift of long legs is I don't have to use that spur. Here and uh, uh. Okay, he just, we're not killing him here. So left leg again to achieve what we were after the first time. He's, you can just tell he's thinking, I don't think I have to give to that very much. Care. So even if they take a step, you should be happy, right? Be happy. That job. Outside leg without the spur. Now with the spur, see what he does.
again, we're just rocking our feet. We're not spurring at him, right? We're just pulling our feet up. There you go. Jog. Try to roll back against the rail here. When we come in. Jog into that turn and keep jogged out. Thank you kindly, folks. 